part two. Rebels in Room, Moses on Mount Sinai. Three covenants, Old Testament, Last Testament, New Testament. First of the third, 71 CE, the ninth of the fourth, 71 CE. The Bible is separated into two parts, Old Testament and New Testament. Whoever started this trend had all others following. It was the Old Covenant and New Covenant. Up to this point, no one is aware about a last testament or death covenant in the Bible. Then the Bible should be divided into three parts, Old Testament, Last Testament, and New Testament. The Old and New Covenants are based on Catholicism, Roman law, or God's law. In my research, I have presented two Ten Commandments, that is Jewish law and Roman law. The Last Testament was a last will and testament with Simon's death. It was the first covenant presented to Vespasian on Palatine Hill. The differences between the three covenants and their origin will be discussed briefly. Simon, Last Testament, Ten Commandments, Jewish Law. Simon wrote the Last Testament. Last Testament is the Ten Commandments. Jewish law or deadly sin. All Christians are followers of Jewish law or deadly sin. First of the third, 71 C. Vespasian instructed Simon and Titus to come up to him on Mount Sinai, Palatine, to give to them the Ten Commandments. Simon and Titus went up Palatine, Hill. Exodus 34:27. And Jehovah said to Moses, Write these words, for according to the speaking of these words, I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. Vespasian did not give to them his covenant. Instead, he instructed Simon and Titus to write their covenants. Simon wrote the Ten Commandments, Jewish law. Titus wrote the New Covenant, Roman law. Exodus 32:16, And the tablets were the work of God. And the writing was the writing of God engraved upon the tablets. God is an entity of three gods, Vespasian, Simon, and Titus. Three covenants were presented. Deuteronomy 29:14. But you are not the only ones with whom I am making this covenant with its curses. Curses are Jewish law and deadly sin. Zechariah 8:8. 8, 8. And I will bring them, and they will dwell within Jerusalem, and they will be my people, and I will be their God in truth and in righteousness. Simon would take the Jews to live in Israel. The Jews were his people, and Simon their God. This was Simon's covenant presented to Vespasian and Titus. This was the last testament. Isaiah 28:15. Because you have said, we have made a covenant with death. Last Testament was a last will and testament with death. All Christian followers were sanctified. This was the first covenant presented to Vespasian. Ninth of the fourth, 71 C. God presented Simon with the Ten Commandments, God's law. Vespasian hid Simon's Ten Commandments, Jewish law. Simon had two tablets of the covenant, Ten Commandments, Roman law. Simon destroyed Ten Commandments of Roman law. Vespasian, Old Testament, Ten Commandments, Roman law. Vespasian wrote the Old Testament. Hebrews 10, 16. This is the covenant which I will covenant with them after those days, says the Lord. I will impart my laws upon their hearts, and upon their mind I will inscribe them. Vespasian's covenant was with Simon and Titus. My laws, Vespasian law, Roman law. Old Testament is the Ten Commandments, Roman law, or God's law. The last six laws are common laws. The four commandments of Roman law are 1. The worship of three gods, Roman law. Exodus 20, verse 3. You shall have no other gods before me. The pronoun me referred to the Roman god. The Roman God is an entity of three gods, Vespasian, Simon, and Titus. 
Then the verse should read, you shall have no other gods before the three gods of Catholicism. Two, make idol, Roman law. Deuteronomy 4.23 Take heed to yourself that you do not forget the covenant of Jehovah your God, which he has made with you, and make for yourselves an idol, the form of anything, which Jehovah your God has forbidden you to make. Roman law is to make idols which the Jewish God has forbidden. Roman law is to worship idols. Number three, baptism in Roman law. Romans 6, 3. Or are you ignorant that all of us who have been baptized into, Jesus, into Christ Jesus have been baptized into his death? To accept Jewish law is baptism in death. Christ Jesus referred to Simon. This is Jewish law. Genesis 17, 10. This is my covenant which you shall keep between me and you and your seed after you. Every male among you shall be circumcised. In this context, circumcision is to stop Jewish law and to accept Roman law. It is baptism in Roman law. Number four, Roman Sabbath, 10th of the 771 to 16th of the 771C, Exodus 16:23, And he said to them, this is what Jehovah has spoken. Tomorrow is a Sabbath of complete rest, a holy Sabbath to Jehovah. Tomorrow, refer to Saturday, 16th of the 771C. The Jews were killed on the 15th of the 771 seat. Exodus 31, 13. Speak also to the children of Israel, saying, You shall surely keep my Sabbaths, for it is a sign between me and you and throughout your generations, that you may know that I am Jehovah who sanctifies you. Exodus 31, 14. Therefore you shall keep the Sabbath, for it is holy to you. Everyone who profanes it shall surely be put to death. For whoever does any work on it, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Roman Sabbath was sanctification to all believers in Jewish law. It was death. Exodus 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day so as to sanctify. The Jews were sanctified. Exodus 31, 15. Six days work shall be done, but on the seventh day there is a Sabbath of complete rest. Holy to Jehovah. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day shall surely be put to death. Roman Sabbath on the seventh day was complete rest in death to all believers in Jewish law. Exodus 31, 16. Therefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant. The Jews must remember to observe Roman's Sabbath. It was not a Jewish Sabbath. Roman Sabbath was a death covenant to all believers in Jewish law. Titus, New Testament, Ten Commandments, Roman law. Titus wrote the New Testament. The New Testament is the complete Ten Commandments of Roman law, plus destruction of Jews. The Jews were sanctified. Titus' covenant was with Jews. Hebrews 8.10 for this is the covenant which I will covenant with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will impart my laws into their mind, and on their hearts I will inscribe them, and I will be God to them, and they will be a people to me. My laws? Titus' law, Roman law. Titus' covenant was with Jews, and that he would be their Jewish God. Titus' new covenant was to fulfill Roman law. Romans 11.27 and this is the covenant from me with them when I take away their sins. Titus' covenant was to sanctify Jews. Titus' vow was to destroy all Jews. This is the New Testament. The differences between Old Testament and New Testament. Vespasian's covenant was with Simon and Titus. Titus' covenant was with Jews. 